Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the IdeaPad 320 by Lenovo, and we are going to be looking at how to upgrade the memory and SSD, or hard drive to an SSD, in this machine. Now, this particular model is the 14-inch, uh, uh, so 14IAT model, and although there are a few different models, the service manual covers all of them, um, and the process is basically the same, just with some minor differences in terms of screw placement for the different chassis sizes and variants. So what we are going to do, and I will probably fast forward through this a bit, but just go through the base and we are going to very carefully just remove all the visible screws. When we get to this one here, we'll see here we have, because this machine has an optical drive, we have a little CD marking on this. All these screws are the same size. Oh, sorry, this doesn't have an optical drive, but it does have a bay holder, uh, spacer. So even if you don't have a DVD drive, be sure to remove that. But just go round. I don't believe there are any hidden screws on this particular machine and chassis. So remove all the screws from the base. Now we have already cloned the contents of this machine's hard drive to an SSD. Um, people have asked me how I do this in the past. I use True Image and I will, at the same time I am uploading this, be uploading a video showing the process with that as well. So now what we want to do is just flip the machine over, open it up. So we're going to take our plastic pry tool and we are going to, on the edge of the chassis here, where it meets. So it's quite hard to see here, but basically you have this little lip where the keyboard meets the base. The laptop itself actually lives attached to the keyboard, but what we're going to do is just slide that in there, work our way round, just pushing it in about a centimetre, and just going along Gently, don't use excessive force, but you need to just sort of push things in and just lift up with the pry tool. Uh, I always recommend using a plastic tool. Obviously, it is possible to do things like this with a screwdriver, but if you use something metal, you're going to start marking the plastic. Um, a plastic pry tool is much gentler and less likely to cause any sort of noticeable marks. So as we work round, releasing as much as we can. Then we are going to close the laptop back over, turn it back over, and then just grip the front corner here and gently just try and lift. We're going to go, just get the pry tool in anywhere it's not released, and then gently lift the back of the laptop off. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is what we have here is we have the battery connector and what we're going to want to try and do, this may be easiest just by removing the battery. So we have three screws holding the battery in place. We can then lift the battery up and free, and then just gently pull it to release. If you're having to use too much pressure, just be careful because you do not want to damage the wires for the battery there, but it came out nice and easily. Now, with that done, we also have the memory here. Now, what we're going to do is there are, it, the memory is a single dim slot, I believe, hidden under here. So again, we are just going to 
insert our pry tool. There are these little metal clips that hold the shield on and just by pressing down with those we can release the cover for the memory. We then pull on the two clips on the edge and we can remove the module like so. In this case we're actually just leaving it with the 4 gig memory module as is at the moment so we can push that down, down into place so it clips and then just gently slot the shield back over the memory module as so. Now to do the hard drive this is held in a little rubber holder so again we are going to take our pry tool and just try and gently lift the hard drive out and again we can just slot that out as so. Now the drive itself is held in this little caddy so we pull that side down to release these little pins that go into the drive and remove the drive as so. We can then take our SSD making sure the SATA connector is facing the open end and we can slot that in, bend that side down and fit it as so. To then refit this into the slot we want to push in, push onto that SATA connector and down into place. If you are looking to replace the wireless card this is also in here, there's a single screw there to hold that in. Um, there is not, as far as I can see, any M2 slot on this board uh, so you are limited to just 2.5 inch hard drive um, if you did wish to fit a, a second, so say a hard drive or second SSD, you could however get a optical drive bay caddy. Uh, the only thing you may find is you just need a bracket for attaching that as often they assume you're going to reuse that and because this one didn't have an optical drive the black bracket is moulded into the plastic. But what we can do now then is take our battery, reposition that, make sure the cable is fully slotted in and refit the three screws. It isn't absolutely essential to remove the battery but it is generally good practice. It does just mean you're not going to accidentally switch the machine on while you're working on the memory. Um, and since there's no uh, sort of visible fan in here uh, because it's quite a low power processor um, you're not going to accidentally work on the machine with it turned on which could be potentially quite bad. So now all that is left to do is to slot the back cover on. We're going to open the laptop up slightly and just clip around it making sure as many of the plastic clips re-engage and then flip it over as so and just again press around the edges making sure it is nicely clipped together and all that is left to do then is to refit the screws into the base and slot that optical bay cover back in. I hope you found this video useful and um, if you do want to know how to clone your existing drive from a larger hard drive onto a smaller SSD, in this case I've gone from a one terabyte hard drive to a 240 gigabyte SSD, um, then like I say take a look at my other videos I've got a guide to doing that which will be up at the same time as this video. If you've got any questions or comments or anything else you'd like to see on the channel then do just let me know in the comments and I'm going to finish fitting these screws back in. Uh, I will leave the video just running because people always complain if I don't. And thanks for watching.